Alright, this is a strawberry full moon for Gemini. This is going to be a, the first half of a twin moon that's in the sign of Capricorn. This moon is going to happen at 9.08 p.m. at night in most places. And it's going to talk about prosperity, luck, manifestations, self-care, and perception. So let's see what's going on. Um, we have Bell. We have an announcement. We have a bull. Um, will ba will not back down from the opposition. Show strength and fortitude. We have a hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. We have a broom. Um, new home, new attitude. We have Tiger doing something risky. Um, taking a chance. We have Harp, great happiness. We have Star, guaranteed success. All right. So, we have um, how to expand your ambitions, we have guaranteed, and we have avoidance. Um, so, you're avoiding something. Um, you could be avoiding your own ambitions, which I, I find is interesting for anybody to do. With Gemini, it's kind of like, if you're up, you're up. If you're down, you're down. But, um, yeah. Your energy is all over the place. And it means that you could be dealing with a bigger issue or you could be avoiding your own destiny. Okay. Which could be a problem for your environment or the people that you're talking with or your friends with. Um, okay, what have you achieved so far? We have... Um, Positivity is attractive and spiritual protection. So I feel like you might be going through a lot, but you're kind of staying away from certain things. Now, with with the history of stuff that you've been doing, um, you need to stay away from certain people. Um, and I feel like you might be kind of doing that and kind of not doing that due to, um, you know, money issues. But, um, I feel like the, the people that you, you're talking to could have something against you. Okay. And that's why spiritual protections here, like you could be in a, in a group of people or you could be in a work situation where there's a lot of people. There could be a lot of people that you talk with that you think are good friends and they're not. They just want information from you so that they know how to bring you down or get you out of the picture. So be very careful about the information you spread, even about other people. Um, because you don't know who's in cahoots and who has like secret en entanglements with people. Alright, so what realities must be faced? We have lack of commitment and we have dusted off. Um, so I think you might be in a, in a relationship and it's not based on commitment or compromise. Um, it's based on something else, which could be a problem. Um, that means that your foundation could be a little rocky if you secure it and you actually build the foundation of your relationship, it would be much better. So it's based on trust and not on like... Oh, I had to stay with this person because they're afraid of being alone or you're afraid of being alone or something to that effect. It's actually based on sincere trust and loyalty and love there. Okay. Okay, what restricts you? We have sensitivity. We have challenging um, journey together. So it, it, there's a lot of probably triggering happen happening or you might not get along with people um gemini's aren't really known for getting along with people they're probably the worst um sun sign to actually befriend because you don't like people don't know if you're the a twin or the b twin and sometimes you're both like you'll you'll be nice to people's faces and then do something behind their back which it, it makes it very hard to trust you in any sense of the word. Like people are around you for a particular reason. And it might not be the reason that you think is valuable to you. Um, but it would be valuable to a lot of other people. And um, 
the, the vicinity. Okay, so just understand that some of your friends are not your friends for real. They're like frenemies or they're trying to get information or they're around you because you attract a particular thing, person, place, or opportunity. Um, so it's a bit of a problem, okay? And you might be blind to it. You might think that these are your friends and then the truth comes out and then everything goes to pot. So just be careful, like I told you before. Um, it's very hard for people to trust Geminis because they work on the twin schedule, not on the realistic, logical schedule. So it could trigger a lot of people. You could trigger yourself, and you could trigger a lot of insignificant um, conversations. Like, you might think it's an insignificant conversation, and really it means something to somebody else, and then they have a personal vendetta against you. <laughs> Or you might have taken something or borrowed something without returning it, and then that person that thinks of it as a as a theft and all that. But yeah, you have to really think about how you're perceived to somebody else, and really take account for a lot of things that could be perceived out of um, out of something else. Okay. Anyway. Hopefully this helped you out, Gemini. I understand there's a lot of you out there. and I just want to make sure that you understand that you need to kind of look at yourself like, how is this going to look to somebody else? It's a self-look. It's not like you have to change yourself or anything. But you have to understand that you could lose friends or you could have frenemies very quickly. And you might think that you're popular, but you're not. Um, you're just an easy target. Okay, so be careful, honey. It'll all be okay, but you have to be re realistic. If your friends came too easy, the opportunity came too easy, too. All right, anyway, later.